When a new production of Turandot moved from Europe to Canada, the Canadian opera company felt it needed to be adjusted, so they called in actor Richard Lee as a consultant. I am not there to make changes for the artists. I am there to go, hey, this is something that I see that uh, I have an issue with because I think, uh, I think it can potentially be very hurtful for an audience that comes to watch it. What this meant was doing away with some of the makeup and costumes that call to mind Asian stereotypes and specific changes to three characters. Watching, you know, three ministers kind of jumping around and juggling and or being silly uh, comes off uh, very hurtful, I think, to uh, to a person like me, an Asian Canadian person, uh, specifically Chinese. So the jester-like characters, Ping, Pang, and Pong, got a makeover, new costumes, and new names. Jim, Bob, and Bill. Racial stereotypes and the tradition of white performers painting their faces run deep in the opera world and affect some of the most popular pieces, like Madama Butterfly or Otello, where until recently white men performed the lead role in blackface. But changing these beloved operas is tricky stuff. The singer who plays one of the three ministers in Turandot doesn't think the changes to his character work. I was, I was kind of jarred by it, to be honest, um, because for me, I feel like Turandot is a work that needs no apologies in terms of the characters and the names of the characters. He would like to see something and, else happen, like actually hiring more stuff. diverse singers. For years, the reasoning offered by opera houses was that most of the top talent happened to be white. I'll call BS on that. There are so many, so many talented Asian opera singers. There are so many talented artists of color. Even in this tweaked version of Turandot, the lead roles of the Chinese princess and her father are played by white singers. Is it enough? No, it is absolutely not. But, uh, but it's a step forward, and uh, I recognize that, and that gives me hope. Hope that a centuries-old art form can change its pitch to meet modern audiences while still keeping its grandeur. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, Toronto.